It's Penny and the Professor. What's new? What's new? What's new with you? When Penny has a question, the Professor has an answer. She likes to help out everyone. Us all right along. It's Penny and the Professor. It's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hi, kindergartners. Hi, Penny. Do you guys see Penny? Where did she go? Penny, what is this pig? I found a pig. Look at this cute little piggy. So cute. With penguin feet? I think maybe somebody's hiding. Hi, Penny. Are you in there? There she is, you guys. <laughs> She's wearing her pig outfit. So, Penny, why are you wearing a little piggy outfit? Oh, good reason. Okay, so she knew we were going to read the story of the three little pigs today, and she thought she'd wear her little piggy outfit. I love it. Don't you guys? So cute. All right, so today we're going to hear uh, the three little pigs. Let's go for it. It's called The Three Little Pigs, and it's written by somebody a long, long time ago. So this is one of those stories that is a story handed down from generation to generation to generation. And there's lots of different versions of the story, which is really kind of extra special cool because we can read different versions of the story and hear them slightly differently, but still know that the main idea or the essential meaning of the story is pretty much the same. So this one, it doesn't say who adapted this one or who retold this one. Sometimes it will, and sometimes it doesn't, and this one doesn't seem to. And it says it was illustrated though by Thea Kleros. So we have an illustrator and somebody wrote the words, but we're not sure who, cause it doesn't say. So we will go ahead and start. Once upon a time, three little pigs illustrated by Thea Kleros. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a cozy house with their mother. One day, Mother Pig said, You are all grown up now. It is time for you to go out into the world and build your own houses. Build them strong and you will be safe from the big bad wolf. The first little pig was a lazy little pig. He built the simplest kind of house so he could have time to rest. His house was made of straw. It was not very strong. The second little pig was playing was a playful little pig. He built his house quickly so he could go out and play. His house was made of sticks. It was not very strong. The third little pig was the smartest pig of all. He listened carefully to his mother's advice and built a strong house of bricks. Well, the little pigs didn't know that lurking in the nearby forest was the big, bad wolf. The wolf was very hungry, and for his supper, he wanted a pig. The big, bad wolf knocked on the first little pig's door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he roared. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, replied the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the wolf. So the wolf huffed and puffed and he blew the straw house down. The first little pig ran away as fast as his legs could take him. Next, the wolf knocked on the second little pig's door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he roared. Hmm. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the stick house down. The second little pig ran away as fast as his legs could take him. The third little pig heard a knock on his door. He 
was surprised to find his trembling brothers standing on the other side. The big bad wolf blew our houses down, they cried. <sighs> Quick, come inside, said their brother. Minutes later, there was another knock on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. And no matter how hard he tried, he could not blow the house, the brick house down. The big bad wolf was angry. I'll get you little piggies, he snarled. He climbed up on the roof and crept toward the chimney. Hearing the wolf on the roof, the third little pig was quick to light a fire. The wolf slid down the chimney and was met with hot, crackling flames. The wolf's tail was badly scorched. He ran from the house into the woods, howling. The big bad wolf never bothered the three pigs again. And they lived happily ever after. That ends. All right, we hope you enjoyed this version of The Three Little Pigs. We will be reading several different versions of The Three Little Pigs just for fun. So watch for us in other videos. See you guys soon. Bye for now.